try the same test we started with. Now this time from this lane. All right, it's activated. So when we did this test earlier, I had to give it some input from my from the accelerator and we were on that lane. I'm gonna test it from this lane now. We're still a little far from the keel here. Let's hit it. All right, that was a little slower on getting it from the right lane to get out to the carpool, or right, carpool to the, uh, to the uh, uh, circle. And so I had to take over. So that's a that's a report, and that was at 104. So yeah, so from the inner lane, when I forced it to the inner lane, which is what not what it wanted to do, it was slow at starting. So I had to give it electricity to tell it to go, and then it did the traffic circle just fine on the outer lane, which is the route it was gonna take, at least in this instance, with all the traffic that was coming, it was aggressive, but then there were cars coming, so I had to take over. Um, so that's why we reported it. That's, that's why we're testing and stuff. And this time around, while we're here, I might as well test the So this is the three street intersection. Just to review, we've got the wide angle lens on right now, so it should be showing. There's a street that goes diagonally this way, there's a street that goes diagonally that way, and then we go straight. The one going to the, the diagonal is the El Pollo Loco, uh, which has the, uh, at the corner, that's Clark and Los Coyotes diagonal. The other one is Stearns, which is where the church is. And where we're at, which is the, uh, the diagonal street, uh, Los Coyotes. So I'll, I'll have a link um, in the notes if you wanted to see what, what it looks like on the map. But it literally is, you know, basically like a, like an asterisk. Usually, I pick the. Uh, school after it. You want to do that. Navigate there. I changed the navigation to the church, so it's still the same direction, but a little further than El Pollo Loco. Now it's still going to make a left. Now, the last release on 9.2, it did great. It went the right way. On 9.1, when I first tested this, on both nighttime and daytime, it was a little sharp on its left turn, and we ended up on the left turn portion of uh, Clark on the other side. So hopefully this one keeps what we had at, on, uh, on 9.2. So here we go, it's green, come on, all right. I gave it electricity because there's too many cars going on, and it is, yeah, it's still doing it, all right. We should go to the right lane here. So once again, go into this little frontage road. It's going to be a right and then a left at the frontage road. Oh, all right. Well, that was interesting. Let's report that. Okay, so what happened there? What happened there was it's supposed to take, if you look at the map, it's literally, there are two streets right beside each other. They're separated by the utilities, right? Um, so this is effectively a frontage road, so it needed to make a quick right and then a direct straight to get in front of the church. Um, it, uh, it jerked and it looked to me like it may not make the, the turn, so I took over that point. Um, you know, is it an improvement? No, I, I'd say it was in that it was able to make the five-way, or the five-way, the, the six-way or the three-street intersection. That was a good test. Uh, good result, but this particular one, not so good. All right, so we got to figure out where to go next. Let's stay with this test. If I go to Ding T, that's Clark, that just goes straight. I don't want to do that. Um, oh, we can go to uh, um, 
Krispy Kreme. So this is the opposite direction on diagonal as well. So, okay, this shows a mapping of trying to make a U-turn. That's a little aggressive. I don't think it's gonna make, because it's not really a U-turn. It's gonna be a left onto the street there where the frontage connects to Clark and then another left turn. And I don't want it to make a U-turn into the same location here. So I'm gonna manually drive it until we're facing this way and then engage it going this way. So we're gonna reverse the direction that we're at. It should be fine. If you, if you look at the map here, we're basically a street going up down sideways this way and sideways this way so that's what we're going to do all right this is me manually driving so if i engage it now it might want to make a u-turn here stop sign stop sign and do that um, i am you know i'm not going to risk myself on here there's been a lot of cops in the road today so you're supposed to go here, stop here, and then go. Whereas if you look at the map, it looks like a... All right. All right, here we go. So this is, once again, the three-street intersection we're coming up to. We're go we can go straight. There's a diagonal going that way, diagonal going this way. We're going to go right, but not in the first right, the second right. That's where we're going to go. See how well it does that. Blue cars are still showing, which I suspect is keep an eye on this car. Maybe it'll do something that might be off. It's a little blurry than what it sees here. There's more blue cars it's seen going from that direction. Oh, it's seeing it from this camera, the B pillar camera, not from the ones on the side here. And then from this way, we're going to keep going straight past Krispy Kreme, and I'm going to change the direction to where we're going to try to do the roundabout again. All right. All right. It turned fine. disengage because I'm going to change the direction or our destination back to the Circle Marina Center which gets us the three re-engage the FSD there's a car beside us there's the Krispy Kreme that I used as a marker this guy's pacing me so hopefully he's not trying to get to the roundabout Right now, it's preferring to be on the outer turn lane into the roundabout. We're going to go one, two, three stops away. I, I would, if I were driving this manually, take the inner lane, which is what we did when I, when I tried doing this earlier, but then had to abandon it because there was a cop on the lane beside us. And I don't like running FSD around cops just in case it does something funny. I am the one that's going to get the ticket, not Tesla. So, you know what? We'll let it do its thing. So, again, it's 1 12 in the afternoon. So, this is a pretty busy traffic circle today. All right, it's yielding a little further away than I would like. There, all right. So, it should be ready to go. Follow this dude. Oh, all right. That's a fail. Another test from the outer traffic circle lane. That's a 112. That failed there because it didn't make it to the inner lane and then over, right? So. All wonder if we'll do a U-turn. All right, I'm gonna to try to test the U-turn here. It shows a U-turn. There's a signal light there to do a U-turn. I don't see any cops around, but if there were, I'll take over. This shows a U-turn on the uh, the attempt here. 
there's a guy turning over there, so turning right into the lane. So hopefully he makes us turn before we get in there, because that would be here. You try to do a U-turn with somebody turning into the street. Considering this is going to be one of my first U-turn attempts, I think I've done one other one before, but it abandoned it. Um, and it's, I don't think I shared that on video. It was one that was just too too scary for me, and I didn't think it was uh, gain anything from it. I did report it, but. This, this map's like it looks like it's going to do a U-turn, so... All right, let's see. Oh, it makes a left. All right, well, that's what it does. And it remaps to the next street over in Mel Belmont to do that. So it would have not done the U-turn. It would take this street all the way around. All right, we'll just turn that back on. So this is what it would have done. Take this street, go back, rejoin, and then <laughs> pick a right. All right. Let's see what it does here. Okay, well, this is a frontage road. So I think we've done this street before. There'll be like a street that way. Come on. What are you looking for? There should be no cars coming at us here. All right, this is an interesting... There's nobody around me, so I'm just letting it do this thing. Alright. That was strange. But it's learning. I didn't see any cars around, so I just went ahead and let it do its thing. Alright, so we've done Jacinto before. Re-entering this circle. Did that a few videos ago. If I can find it, I'll link it under the notes. But it goes into the stop sign, and it's gonna wait, and it's gonna go. Yep, so we've done this before. All right, so now it's gonna, it looks like it's gonna take the outer turn lane, so that's good. Because when we tried this, we well, there's only two choices anyway, so. Second attempt. At, now this is just two two stops or two exits off the traffic circle. Um, luckily, if this guy gets in the circle sooner, there's not much cars by us. All right. Still doing the there. There you go. got through it safely, but it was a little more herky-jerky around it. I don't know what the right word is. Right, we're canceling that. Try it again. 